Hello, everyone. Um, I'm Lauren. And I'm Hannah. And welcome to our very first episode of Go Off Queens. Go off. <laughs> we wanted to create this podcast to focus on anything and everything female centric, talk trends, pop culture, fashion, all of the above, and just really discuss the struggles of being a woman in today's society. Oh, God. Endless, endless struggles. <laughs> um, so. Today, our first topic is going to be something that I love, Lauren loves, fashion. We're going to talk all things fashion, fashion trends, our favorite decades for fashion, our fashion icons, just the whole gamut, just to kick off 2021 on a stylish note. So, without further ado, <laughs> our Jump first right segment here is we are going to do what we like to call love it or leave it. So this is basically just, you know, all the trends that are popular right now. Are we feeling it or are we just kind of like following what everyone else is doing and don't really like it? Because I think I have I genuinely it. done that before. I tried to um, stick to what was stylish, even though I didn't really like it. But now that I've kind of come into my own fashion and <laughs> style, I don't really succumb to that peer pressure anymore. Mm -hmm. Do I succumb to other peer pressures? Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> but not on fashion. <laughs> so away we go. We'll start with the favorite, I would say, among most women these days, which is mom jeans. Mm. We love a good mom jean. <laughs> Brittany is not wearing <laughs> mom <laughs> jeans. <laughs> mom jeans, other no otherwise known as high-waisted. The most atrocious outfit I've seen in my entire <laughs> life, and pants. we were going to get to that later. But... Oh, that's if good. you're going to force us into it, I guess we will talk about Brittany. Brittany. Is she okay? Is Brittany okay? I don't think so. No, I'm not okay either, so I don't blame her. But, I mean, wow. This is in our... Well, not no. mom jeans. Not mom mm -mm. jeans. Should we... <laughs> okay. Should we pull up mom jeans? No. Okay. Mom jeans, though, personally, love it. Jeans aren't very comfortable in general, so it gives you a nice... High waist, tuck your shirt in, slim you out a little bit, comfortable. Yeah, I, I like mom it. jeans, honestly. Like, my mom kind of thought it was hilarious that that came back into style because I think that was pretty big, like, like 70s, but more like 80s. It was kind of that style. But I think it's it's a good style. It, like, cinches your waist. It yep. makes you look really skinny. skinny. Makes your, It gives you that <laughs> nice, like, nice apple butt situation that every girl wants even if you have no butt mm. and <laughs> some are more fortunate than others <laughs> exactly <laughs> but i think it just gives you that shape and anything that gives me shape that i don't have to shape myself i'm here for it so <laughs> keep doing your squats though folks in other words um, if you can't tan it tone it yes or other way around <laughs> <laughs> it's the other way around if you can't tone it tone it tan, tan it. it yes it there we go. takes a lot more work to tone it trust yes. me but fake tanners, in. we can talk about that in next week's episode. Yeah, so I think we're going to give a love it to <clears throat> mom jeans. Always mm -hmm. going to love them. They're a good style. They're comfortable. High rise. A plus. Killing it. Okay, next. so another one that's kind of big right now is sweater <laughs> vests, which I think no. most people wouldn't associate this with fashion because Just it's very it. like... I think men have always worn sweater vests quite a bit, but like women have too, like the varsity kind of like vibe. I like it. I bought a sweater vest recently and it's one of my favorite uh, new things. It looks really cute, really trendy. How do you dress up a sweater vest? So basically how I would do a sweater vest is you wear it with like a nice white crisp like button up shirt underneath it. Okay. That's one way to wear okay. it with like jeans or maybe just like a nice black pant i would wear that love it i've seen i'm not really on board with this one which is like those cheerleader skirts no. those are kind of coming back into trend <laughs> no. yes i know it's i'm not no not kidding i'm being honest but it's it's a thing and i've seen a lot of people wearing it it's kind of just like the vintage like varsity thing like you know yeah. like where you're wearing your little cheerleader little skirt your little look 
like sweater vests. I don't know. I am giving a love it to sweater vests because I'm gonna give a, a leave it to sweater. Vests. I am here for sweater vests. <laughs> hey, she and can rock it. I think in the summer you could even make it work with no sleeves underneath. Which, why not? Or spring. I mean, for those of you that don't know, we're in Colorado, so it's still pretty freaking cold in the spring. Yes. But we're gonna make it work. It's gonna be great. I'm we excited. Do. So Air Force One. Yes. These are big. Hot topic. Big for men and women. Big in the sports world, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, but I think it's more of a fashion thing. It's not like an athletic thing at all. It's if you want to pretend like you're athletic and like into that scene without being into it. Yeah. And I think I a lot of people are wearing them now. Very it's trendy. Huge. Very yeah. trendy. There's also a ton of knockoffs. So I think I am love it for the style not necessarily the brand yeah because you can get them it's nike really anywhere. for those of you that yeah. don't know air force yeah. ones is a nike brand um nike branded shoe but they're pretty pretty high high platform. platform white typically is what a lot of people wear i am wearing my light blue ones right they're now very cute you want to give a shoe mm -hmm. <laughs> there and, we have it um i love them i love my light blues I think they're fun. I think they're unique, which I like to be unique with my fashion. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna give a love it to Air Force Ones. My boyfriend a and a lot it. of my guy friends look really cool in them. If you're a guy that's a little self-conscious about your height, they'll give you a little boost. Mm -hmm. They're high, high platform. <laughs> high platform, so, on trend, also love it. I think we're gonna give that one a love it. All right, let's see what else we got here. So baggy sweatshirts. And then I think Sweat this pants. also kind of goes with the loungewear. Yes, trend. I think we could just talk for a long time just about how like comfy, stylish is like huge right now, mm -hmm. considering we're in a pandemic and everyone's not really Stuck able inside. to go anywhere, which I would never discourage dressing up, even if you have nowhere to go. I think it just makes you feel good about yourself. Give yourself a little confidence boost here and there. Put Get some out of your sweatpants. Do your hair. But with that being said, I think a lot of people are making sweatpants look really chic. Mm -hmm. And the baggy sweatshirts look really cute. I think people are wearing them with a lot of, like, jewelry to kind of, like, style it up. Like, I've seen someone would even wear, like, this type jewelry with it. And I think it looks like... Statement jewelry pieces. Yeah, exactly. I think it kind of styles it up. And with the Air Force Ones, I feel like <laughs> all God. of these really kind of, like, go together. Go hand in hand. I Our next like... one's crop tops. So if you want to throw a crop top in there. Yes. Under your zip-up sweatshirt, you have a whole outfit. Yeah. So basically... And that's like the look of 2020. They, 2020. Yeah. I mean, I think it's just showing us that we can make athletic, <laughs> casual, comfy, look really cute, chic, with the times. I'm here for it. I give those a love, obviously. I give it a love. You can't give it a leave to if sweatpants. Only could we, if only we could wear it to work. I, I would know. love it even more. That'd be great. I think another one that people probably pair often with the baggy sweatshirt is like biker shorts. Mm -hmm. mm. What is your stance Tough. on biker shorts? Tough. I think they're uh, very constricting. That I don't love. That I would leave if I could. But very flattering. I think they make your really, legs look I nice. Think opposite. Really? Okay. Mm -hmm. I think on men, no. It's men, a no. no. Women, nope. I think they kind of squeeze you in all the wrong places. Even like if you're a biker, some of their <laughs> outfits, I can't. Like, I don't know. Like on the side of the road, I can't deal with it. No. But for women, I think they're fun. They're trendy. Again, women wear them with like really like a fun sneaker, mm -hmm. a baggy sweatshirt. Looks super cute. I'm here for that. I like it. I'd say it's a look. like it. Not for me. Like it. Not for but you. Okay. That could be a everyone. third category. <laughs> third category <laughs> don't love it don't want to leave it but yeah you know, i'm gonna me. i'm gonna love it i feel like i haven't left anything yet yeah. i probably should but we'll um see. we'll get there we'll get there let's see okay <laughs> this one how about not necessarily something you wear on your body but an accessory the mini purse no i think every <laughs> Everyone Hate it. has Leave probably it. been wearing these little mini purses, and they're they're cute. Yeah, they're a little statement. If you're wearing kind of a neutral outfit, mm -hmm. but you want like a fun pop of color, I think I like it for that. But like, it's not practical. Not practical. Like all of our phones these days are gigantic, so it's like, how are you gonna fit that in in mm -hmm. your purse? And I think the worst thing is like not being able to fit shit in my purse. Absolutely, I don't like that. I could fit my I wallet. Think for the size, couple purposes, bucks. Yeah. No, 
Mm-mm, cute, not practical. It. So I'm going to leave that one too. I think I would She's prefer. Leaving it. I'm finally leaving. <laughs> um, I think, yeah, I would definitely prefer to just have a, a cute purse, but like you mm-hmm. can actually fit stuff in it. I agree. You can do both people. Don't you settle for do one. Both. You can do both. You want to buy the mini purse, buy the mini purse. But yeah, you do you. Go off. <laughs> anyway, um, let's see what else we got here. Doc Martens. <laughs> For those that don't know those, they're the combat boots, classics. They have the usually the yellow stitching kind of around mm-hmm. the, the sole. I yeah. love my Doc Martens. I only have, I have one pair. I've kind of considered getting more. Mine's kind of just like a faded black looking one. And they're yeah. super, super comfortable. I, I love, love them. I love the combat boot trend. I'm glad it's coming back. Very comfortable. And especially for people that are tall, like both of us. Yes great option alternative for not wearing heels only thing with docs i think they're a little expensive for the shoe but it's true yeah i don't know i feel like they just had like a base price point for so long Mm -hmm. and they don't want to switch it up especially now that they're like really taking off because i feel like this was they were around even in like i could be wrong on this don't don't come for me but like (laughs) i think they were around in like the 90s and they're like still, I mean, they're coming back. I think that was another one where my mom's like, I remember those. Yeah. We had those back in the day. But um, yeah. I think they're fun. I think they're cute. I think they dress up like you could wear something dressy with them and still mm-hmm. look like put together. Yeah. They're really comfortable. I actually wore them to a music festival in the middle of the summer. And I thought my like ankles were going to be sweating. <laughs> but they were actually great. And like really, like I was walking all day long. And it was perfect for that they got a little dusty because yeah. i was in the middle of like a large dusty park where were you um i was actually in san francisco at outside lands mm. so not coachella people i don't go to coachella <laughs> i go to we're not that outside basic lands. okay <laughs> and i like outside lands because it's not a desert yes it's in the middle of golden gate park in the middle of san francisco so you get the the fog it's kind of vibey when you're listening to music anyway off topic off topic <laughs> but let's i mean bring it back let's bring it back let's bring it back next okay. trend next trend flannel but i want to say oversized flannels yes yes i love it see some of these brands they like to make things that are what they consider like fitted for like women mm-hmm. and i think they do this with flannels and i hate that shit yeah. i want like a nice baggy because i feel like if you wear something baggy yeah it makes you look skinnier because everyone's like, oh, she, that, all, that swimming right. on her. She's so skinny. She's so tiny. And I'm like, look at her in that yes. big shirt. Look at her in that big shirt. Just I swimming in it. Absolutely agree. And comfortable. Yeah. No, I you think. You look skinny. You I'm, look cozy. You probably are cozy. I think yeah, it's a win-win. I think so. And you could do the Ariana Grande thing where you pull your <laughs> sleeves like over your hands. And that you're just that small that your you're hands just, don't even show. Yeah, you just wash your hands with your yeah. sleeves on like that. Um, yeah. No, in all honesty, <laughs> I don't. I don't do that. I don't do that. But she, it's an option that. if you've really. <laughs> 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 I have really long arms though, so I don't think I could do that. No. I think she has really short arms. She's just a short no. person. But a little teeny thing. Anyway, I mean, I think you can go too far with baggy clothes. Like, I don't think you want everything to be too big. Because I mm-hmm. went through a phase where, like, all of my stuff was, like, too big for me. And then I started buying things that were actually my size and, like, fitted. And they were so mm. much more flattering. So. Yeah. Also, you know, I think you got to be careful with pairing baggy with tight. Like, maybe oversized flannel with tighter true. jeans. Yes. Versus baggy baggy. Because then you just look a little grungy. Yeah. I just don't want to look put together and fashionable. Yeah. Mix and match. I do have like, I mean, I think we all have like that mom jean or it's mm-hmm. it's called more of a boyfriend jean, like the really baggy jean. And if you try and do like that with the baggy flannel, like, yeah, you're not going to look like, not going to look your best. Let's be honest. Yes. Not going to look your best. All right. Well, I just think we've it. pretty much covered a lot of our love it or leave it. So... I left one thing. I kept <laughs> everything. That's that was the harsh <laughs> critic here. I left a few, but it's pretty similar to when I go to like Target. I buy literally everything in sight and maybe say no to one thing and have some self-control on one thing. Mm-hmm. And it's probably like a practical thing that I actually Something need. Something you went there for. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So Target. Oh my God. Don't even get me started on Target's clothes. We'll cover that in a different episode, but holy moly. That's a whole episode itself. Cost effective, cute as hell. 
up to trend. What can I say? Honestly, Target They're always coming out with new stuff. On point. If you're poor like me, it's the place to be, people. <laughs> All right. Next, we would like to cover our favorite fashion, fashion icons. Because where would we be without them? We love them. I don't know. Probably at Target. Anyway, <laughs> um, <laughs> oh my I God. my favorite is the queen herself, Haley Bieber. I just think her and fashion only. is on freaking point. She always looks so put together, so cute, so fun, but like edgy too. Yep. Here she is, our lady. And our lady. She is rocking a trend that's actually very popular right now, which is the oversized blazer, which she has quoted as one of her favorite looks. She thinks it elevates every look, like a big oversized blazer. But then I you can it. see that she's wearing some more fitted stuff on on the bottom. On the bottom and the top. So I think it, it flows well. She always looks cute. I just also, love her style. What better staple to have in your closet? You can wear it out, dress it yes. up, you can wear it to work, everyday life. Yeah, she's just, I love her style. She's a big, she wears Air Force Ones a lot. So whenever <laughs> I don't know how to style my Air Force Ones, I just go to her Instagram. She's great. She also, I think, she's not, like, I don't know. I feel like she fits my style very well. Because, like, I'm, mm -hmm. I am kind of a girly girl. I like dressing up. I like wearing more, like, fancy stuff. But then I also kind of, like... I don't know, kind of like sporting it down or like making it look more chill, not like mm -hmm. so, so dressy. Like she'll wear like I literally saw her wearing like a sweatsuit and she just like elevated it a little bit with some heels. And I was just like, damn. But if I wore that, I know God, everyone would say, what are the hell are you doing? There's also the argument of is it cute or is she just famous and makes it look better than I would ever make it look? Probably. The latter of the two. <laughs> it's a very, very fair argument. But you know what? I I have a lot of friends that they say they want to wear something. It's a little edgier. It's a little more like out there. And they just think because they're not like that's not their thing that they mm -hmm. couldn't pull it off. And that is when I'm like, don't you say that, sister. You can pull off you anything go you off, want queen. if you put your mind to it. So I think that's my mentality when it comes to fashion. I'm like, huh, I'll put something on and I'm like, mm, this makes me feel like I'm going to be like too dressy. I'm going to be way more dressed up than everyone else. Or this is like kind of an edgy look that I don't see people wearing. I kind of talk myself center. out of it because I'm like, pfft. People are going to think this looks cool. I just have to rock it. <laughs> I have to be confident. I don't know. If they don't, then I don't really want to be their okay. friend, but it's fine. They don't have to follow, you know? Yeah, you know what? Don't like my Instagram. <laughs> I don't care. Live your life. Mm. All right. Next, we my have... My queen. The one and only. Kendall Jenner. Yes. Love them. Love keeping up with the Kardashians. Probably the most stylish of the Kardashian clan, I, I would argue. I think... I mean, I could, I could talk about them for a while of why I All don't day. love their styles. That ain't it. <laughs> that is <laughs> that ain't not it. Kendall. Not Kendall. No, not Kendall. But. <laughs> so. <laughs> anyway. Um, <laughs> Kardashian's coming to an end. We know we'll still have Kendall as a fashion queen. Yes. Kendall, Always looks great. Natural she, beauty. She kind of has a similar, argue. similar style to um, Haley, I think, where she yeah. wears like. She dresses and things up. Yes, of course, obviously. Of course, um, that is a power couple of a best friendship right there. But they <laughs> both wear some really fun, like dressier stuff. But then they also kind of dress it down and make it look really cool and kind of like edgy and yep, badass. I don't know. I just think she always looks like some badass. Badass chick. She's had some questionable outfits. <laughs> I could definitely argue for both of them. They've had some questionable outfits that I personally would not wear. But I would say like 90% of the time, I always think they look good. So I would agree. All and right. Don't get us started on the Hadid sister. I know. I don't think we could talk about fashion without talking about at least one of the Hadid sisters. Uh -huh. I think if I had to choose. Well, I don't know. It depends on the day. I can't I think decide. There's one obvious answer. I, is there? Is it obvious? Which one do you think is more fashionable? Gigi, hands down. Gigi, okay. I was going to say that too. Yeah, Gigi uh, is just a class at her. act too. I think she's a really cool person and very stylish. But and with the gold 
chunky jewelry yes that is I think, very on trend in yes. 2021 that is one we missed on our list of things but mm-hmm. yeah it's like every celebrity is kind of like pairing it with like whatever it just looks good with everything mm-hmm. just adds to the outfit you could add that to the sweatsuit look yeah i know Cozy. i see that all the time make your sweatsuit look a little bit more dressed up yep yeah i think Gigi. yeah Gigi normally just looks really put together really cute but she also does casual really well i think she really wa- like rocks a pair of jeans nicely she does she is a big she wears doc martens quite a bit yep from what i've noticed but then she's like when she's out doing her business modeling stuff i don't know what she does and with she's her in life. all sorts of clothes yeah then yeah. i mean obviously she's on the runway she can't really pick what she wears but i do feel like the fashion designers literally give her the best piece in the whole line whenever she's like included in any of their <laughs> different well can we just talk about this yeah as you're saying one, she's got the best piece it's gg <laughs> so of course it looks good but like it looks good but are you going you wear... to a slumber party maybe can i wear my heels <laughs> absolutely why would you not why would you not wear your heels to sleep over i actually i mean okay this is def- <laughs> this is a really great example of someone that's famous that can pull something off just because they're them mm-hmm. i don't think i like if i showed up to work in my pajamas people would be like is there an event today like are we doing pajama day did i not get the email if we showed up anywhere and i'd you be like to brunch in you this, right your friends are you gonna right. think you didn't change i mean the before I feel more comfortable to tell my friends, like, you guys are just jealous. I'm more fashionable <laughs> than you. But, like. Don't I, hate me because you're jealous. Okay? Don't hate me because you hate me, girl. But, anyway. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm not that much of a jerk. But, anyway. Yeah. I like it. I kind of like that she's wearing it. I like the color. I like the green. I do like the green. I'm here for that. Well, and then we have Bella, who I think Bella, like, her style is just very, <laughs> like, she pairs some very interesting things together, like exhibit exhibit A here. Like, well, what is this sweater? We're missing something big here. Those low rise jeans. Oh, my God. What no. are those? What are those? If she ever, like, initiates bringing that back, I'm not going to be happy no. with her because I don't, like, they're so unflattering. We can't bring it back. Like, they look flattering it's on too far her gone. because she's, like, probably eats, like, a piece of ice for <laughs> for her whole day for dinner and ice cubes like one cube and just lets it melt slowly. we don't know that that's not factual she could eat no, a I'm lot sure, of meals well, but i don't know what she does no no We're shade no shade now, like know? she's just really she's skinny, skinny. <laughs> i'm sure she works out a lot but i think yeah you just have to have that type of body to pull off those pants otherwise they're not really going to be flattering i agree I, I mean i don't even think i would like I would not no. look good in them. They're just not a look. Low-rise jeans come back. I am not topping on that train. No. But you guys have at it. No, I'm good. They also don't stay on. Like, mm-hmm. I don't get how people keep them on their body and, like, don't have, like, their butt crack hanging out. Like, how... I mean, that's one safe thing with mom jeans is, like, you know, like, nothing ever. Like, you feel very, very safe, mm-hmm. very secure. <laughs> I agree. Well, Whereas, and for tall girls, like... Yeah. We... You have low-rise jeans. You're showing everything. Oh yeah, it's not giving whole you whole torso. So whole torso. Hopefully you have Hip abs. bones, yeah. everything. If you yeah. want to hide it, let's just stick with the high waisted. <laughs> so I think what we, I mean, speaking of celebrities, speaking of people that influence our fashion styles, what about the good old run of the mill influencer? How do we feel about their style and the tips that they're giving us on style? I mean, I think Multiple like multiple things. I think they're good for new products. Yes. Introduce you they're to kind a of ton like of new products. The guinea pig for like the product you want to try. I mean, obviously mm-hmm. you just have to take their word for it, but like But is their word real? Because they're getting paid. I mean, sometimes they do take their word for it if it's like clothing when they just give you like a basic like little pro tip like these pants run mm-hmm. really small, so I would get a size up. I'm like, yeah. that's that's a nice know. nice little tidbit. I'll take that. But then if they're like I think it's I don't know. I, don't know. I also protein hate, shakes are a big one. They're all so freaking small that like when they're talking about especially clothing and stuff, like they're like, I got an extra extra small and then these are also an extra extra small. <laughs> like with my extra extra small purse. I'm just like, Okay, we get it. You're small. 
So like, what does this look like on someone that's not going to get a small? Someone who's normal. Yeah. Someone who looks like a normal person. Like this girl is extra, extra small. She's extra, extra small. In her mom jeans. Yes. I love the look though. This is what you would see from typically from an influencer. Like if they're selling you these jeans, their mom jeans, by the way. They just got them from Fashion Nova. Yes. Probably got them from Fashion Nova or. Show us all. I don't know, like some of those main brands. Oh, Revolve. Mm -hmm. Here's the mini purse. Here's a perfect example (laughs) of the mini purse. I mean, it's just, you know, it's like another one of those things where it's like, I don't know if I'm going to do that. I don't know if I'm going to wear that just because you're wearing it. But I do like, like, sometimes they suggest some brands that I haven't heard of. And I'm sometimes, I've kind of gotten more selective of who I follow in the influencer world because there's some that do actually put, like, affordable type mm-hmm. stuff like on their pages and some that put like oh yeah like these leggings are like they just went on sale swipe up and i like swipe up and they're literally 400 hundred dollar freaking leggings and i'm like this is a sale when did we normalize that who by is the this way? a sale when did to we normalize a hundred dollars for a sweatshirt even if I become dollar sweatpants, if I become a billionaire, I'm not buying four hundred dollar leggings because no. I'm not an idiot. Like I don't think that just that just doesn't make any sense. Okay, I probably would. Let's, go. but still, my point being, why four hundred dollars? Why you could do so much with that? I mean, I actually TikTok is a wonderful place for cheap <laughs> fashion suggestions. The like, puffer. <laughs> Like the puffer jacket. Yeah. <laughs> Very on trend. We talked about this a little bit, but love the accessory. Yeah. Or actually another one that I've seen a lot of people recommend where it's like, I saw Haley Bieber wearing a pair of these like leather pants is like hers were $800. Like I looked mm-hmm. up the brand. Mm-hmm. They were $800. And so I love people that take that style. They're like, okay, we're not going to get the $800 ones. But here's a pair that look exactly the same, and they're 40 bucks. Honestly. I'll take that. I love those people. Me Shout too. out to those people, honestly. Life hacks. Those influencers. Like, I found some cute kind of like, I would probably call them micro-influencers that actually give you some really great suggestions of brands that are affordable. They've actually tried them. They're not a size extra, extra small. Like, <laughs> there <laughs> are definitely some body-positive influencers that I really like. I think sometimes they kind of like won't stop talking about it, which gets a little annoying. It's like, okay, we get it. Your, your body positive. Yeah. Super love that. Let's move on. Let's talk about something else. But <laughs> I don't know. Some people make a total living off of it. Just being an influencer, they it's get booming money booming from these business. promotions and clearly it's working. Clearly people are listening. I'm even just amazed at like, I feel like they're lying though. Nine times out of 10 when they're like, See, I get so many questions that- from <laughs> about this thing. And I'm like, who everyone's asking she's everyone's like, wanting to know about my pants i mean so. as we speak everyone is probably asking about like where i got my earrings so like <laughs> i'll I link them shirt i'll link them for you guys pants i'm wearing but no like it's not like no one like, no one asked like i'm sure no maybe one like one one to two people asked but don't be like a jerk about it and be like Guys, everybody's asking. shut the frick up like everyone has asked me like <laughs> no one calm asked. down mm-hmm. <laughs> like it's what you've all been waiting for. That's seriously how they act. I'm like, God, <laughs> relax. Can you, you need to relax. Like, I'm, I didn't ask you anything. So I'm just here scrolling through my phone. Oh, my Innocent God. Innocent bystander. <laughs> Stop asking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to block you if you ask me one more question. And unfollow. <laughs> <laughs> I could mm. spend like hours making fun of influencers, but I don't want to like get anyone upset here. Yeah. If it's your career, good for you, man. And we love, I love at least the <laughs> courage, the personality. You put your whole life on the internet. Yeah, no, I know. I want to do it. That's I don't know if work. I could do it. I've even, I've, I respect it. Yeah, I mean, you have to always be interesting too. Like, mm-hmm. and I, I'm just you not that interested. Share what you ate for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Like, yeah, you have to do like a nice. Like, I'm not that cool. I every single time breakfast. you pour your creamer into your coffee, just <laughs> <laughs> get a nice video. Today on it. is coffee with my special creamer. Yeah, your this freaking one. protein Look powder. I'm just like, what is that even gonna do? <laughs> like, seriously, I actually did start taking okay. collagen though. I did. I did I buy did some. <laughs> <laughs> We're out here like. 
Facebook influencers. Sorry. Well, they just make me. They just, <laughs> dude. We had one rule. We did have one rule. I'm sorry. We'll bleep that out later. Apologies, everybody. I'm so sorry. God. We don't hate influencers, influencers. getting her fired up out here. We don't hate them. We don't I hate, hate that they make me buy things. But so to all the influencers, I do buy stop. the stuff that they sell me. me too. I'm just being a hypocrite. Great right right salespeople. Anyway, we should just call, like start calling them salespeople. I think point. we need to move on to our next topic, which is the decades of fashion and dun, dun, dun. how we feel about each one. So I would argue, well, before we start, do you feel like we will look back on our current decade and be proud of what we were wearing? Hmm. Well, I think this decade, a lot of trends from past decades have come back. That's true. I know. I was thinking about that to this decade. I know. It's like, I don't know. I feel like we're just we're getting to a point now where we're like recycling. Mm -hmm. I will say, though, like the athleisure thing. Mm -hmm. I I think we kind of invented that in the past like 10 years. Like bra. Yes. And just like making like comfortable athletic look like chic, even though you have no intent to work out, which like, (laughs) let's be real. We probably don't. don't. (laughs) Especially I would never work out in like big chunky earrings that people wear with like their sweatpants that's just it's but just you put asking them for an injury on with the intention to work out yeah it's just does it happen it makes you feel better than <laughs> probably not go off <laughs> anyway go off, queen. so let's start with we'll start with as far 70s? back as we would like to discuss today which is the 70s mm-hmm. and i love the 70s uh. i think it was just such a timeless period where clothing were just they were just cute Mm -hmm. such fun outfits they wore the high-rise jeans bell bottoms pretty timeless like i feel like those shoes yeah those nikes yep farah we just love her hair if i could blow out my hair and it looked like that see i I think with the 70s my only thing is i don't know that i would bring the hair with me but I would Depends bring the clothes. On the hair. If I could travel back in time, I would get a lot of ideas fashion wise, hair. I mean, that's when my mom my <laughs> mom was mm, she she was like a teenager in the seventies. Mm-hmm. Um she graduated high school in eighty one. So yeah. That was kind of her time and I've seen some old photos of her and she looks really cute and they they had a lot of the fun like kind of like striped turtlenecks were pretty big yep. the shaggy hair it was a whole thing i liked it was a it. vibe it was classic um i feel like they did lots of like leather type stuff too it was kind of a look um you know who i think a brand now that kind of brings that back is free people I think yeah free people kind of the bohemian of yeah, because I mean, vibes. we had the peace and love that kind of came out after the '60s, and then it kind of continued through the '70s, and that was a thing. Peace signs, all that good stuff, headbands. I just thought it was a you good time. It. Good time. It was a good time. And then we moved right along into the '80s, which was wow, <laughs> tragic. <laughs> unforgettable which, tragic i'm not gonna lie the 80s like i just love i love music from the 80s it's just like the 70s and the 80s music on mm-hmm. point but i agree with that this is um what is that in her hair this is interesting what she did here this is not kind of like sure a madonna look i mean obviously like sarah jessica parker it's probably her own I mean, look too but yeah. i mean it's just Oh my lord! I think the the puffiness and just like everything just being too much was this like is very Carrie Bradshaw for though. That's outfit. true. Oh my god! Yeah, I actually have you that they did that little reboot where it was like young Carrie Bradshaw and it was like mm-hmm. during the '80s Carrie. and I actually kind of liked her outfits like they were cute. I agree, but like. Don't love oh it. my lord! Like if that comes back dresses with padding, puffy sleeves, like nope i'm good on that my mom's wedding dress bless her heart the sleeves mm, i don't think shoulders. i will be pulling that out when i eventually get married but i yeah. you know what it was just the style it's just what they did i think the hair was also very interesting yep i did like all the bright colors though the 80s I did really like the knew colors. how to color pop I feel like 80s they is would. a great party theme these days. It's true. I know. You know dress up. Like I'm not going to lie. When I was looking to prep for this podcast, all I was seeing was just like <laughs> party, like party city outfits from like 80s. I'm like, 
okay, it was an Let's actual it decade. Back. It's not just like a theme. Yeah. But you know what? It was a fun Maybe time. We should dress like that next week. We could. We <laughs> most certainly could. We'll bring it back. I think we'll shoes start the actually from the 80s were cute. I agree. And that is my last word on the 80s. And I think my favorite decade for fashion is coming up. It's the 90s. Fire. Look at young Drew. Drew Ew. Barrymore. She looks so cute. I would wear that so like tomorrow. Cute, cute 90s outfit. That. Those shorts, very in now. Yes, kind oversized, of oversized, baggy shorts. Yeah, like grungy punk thing was very in. Like that's where like cue the doc martens like doc mm -hmm. martens are kind of punk kind of angsty it's yep. kind of it's Got a some look edge. the oversized like flannels i think were big in the 90s and i think paired with the red lips the leather she killed this. i was actually alive in the 90s so i mean you could probably come for me for not <laughs> knowing much about the 80s and the 70s but i can actually speak to the 90s i was there okay we were alive i was okay. there but anyway we saw it in real life Kind, kind of. of. I was very. I, know, I, was, I was a baby. Like, kind of. Me but too. anyway, <laughs> and the most tragic. Oh my god! Of all decades, the most atrocious of them all. Who would let be this happen? The two thousands. Just a terrible, terrible what time. The hell. You is guys that? got a little preview earlier, but here is our fantastic example. It's Britney Bitch. Of a time that I just would never <laughs> want to ever come back to fashion wise. Like the no. skirts over the jeans. I used to though. It looks like that. This is at the Crossroads premiere. Oh my god! I loved that movie. I probably like loved this outfit as I was looking for pictures. Like. <laughs> I know my 10 year old self would be like, yes. that is one fire. I probably outfit. wore something like this I probably, because of the movie. I wore a skirt over <laughs> jeans. I know I did it. Gauchos. Oh, we loved some gauchos. gauchos. <laughs> and like, oh my gosh, just all the little hair clips, the hats, the sparkles. Remember the stretchy, sparkly belts? From Limited 2? Yes. Limited 2, for those of you that know, those are just, that just screams early 2000s Screams. and your mom just took you to the mall and you're about to go ham on some sparkly hats mm -hmm. some sparkly belts belts a some gouch some tank tops to layer and then yes. pull all the way pull over it all the way butt. over and put the belt on top of it yes yeah classic classic oh my god what a time let's just not go back to that bad place, boy i think aside from maybe the 90s but so i think we might as well conclude with some of our favorite brands, what we think is actually worth it to get it, and just some staple items that everyone should have in their closet. So I think we've talked about them a lot today. I would say a staple that I like and a brand that I do like is Doc Martens. I think if you're kind of an edgy girl, you kind of like want to be comfortable, but also cute, chic, kind of punk. I would say almost Doc everything Martins. in this picture is a staple. Yeah, actually, everything White she was tea, wearing. leggings, fuzzy jacket. The Sherpa jacket. jacket yep. That's definitely very comfortable, especially for while we're still in a pandemic. We can't really go Winter. many places. Winter, if you're in a cold place like mm -hmm. we are, it's nice. <laughs> for your grocery store excursions, which is probably like the highlight of your day. It is. I really so. cherish my Trader Joe runs these days. Let's but. see. What else my we got here? My favorite shoe brand steve madden mm. yes i, I think they're steve affordable madden. they always are coming mm -hmm. out with new styles and also every time i buy one i love it they hold up too they're very they durable i've had a lot of steve madden shoes over the years and they like have lasted me for a while like a, just a classic like nude heel i think is like a staple for like if you have to go to a wedding or you have to just dress up for something work interview whatever it is um they last forever, the Steve Madden ones, and they're comfortable and they look they cute are. with everything. So, staples. Amen. Next, I would say just to get like lots of staples and for an affordable price is Zara. Zara has mm -hmm. great stuff. They have amazing jeans. Yes. Great amazing jeans, jeans. Great types of like those, like that blouse I was talking about earlier, like a button down white blouse you could definitely find at Zara, cheap. Um, they, I think they even have accessories, like just really basic accessories. Mm -hmm. All good price, Zara's too. Zara's got it all. They have cute jackets, jean jackets. If you just need like a classic Oversized jean jacket. right now are big on their website. Yep. Or even like those body suits that you just want to wear, like a basic one, like a nude or a beige or white. They have it. Great. Yep. Highly recommend. One that I go back and forth with, I'm a big fan of free people as a whole very yes. expensive so yes. sometimes i have a hard time justifying mm -hmm. but their intimates line 
is amazing. They have all the bodysuits, long sleeves, tank tops, shirts in every color that you could ever need for any style, I would say. Yeah. I would and argue that they're, they're affordable. Yeah. They have a, they call it free people movement is like their athletic mm-hmm. brand too. And their stuff is really cute. I just bought a shirt that's kind of like this one, kind of just to throw over like after you worked out or something and some shorts and they're just like really cute, flattering, stylish. I mean, I wouldn't, like, go do your hardest workout in them and, like, get them really sweaty. But, I mean, they're cute and they're pretty affordable. Um, Like, I think I got the shorts for, like, 40 bucks. Not bad. Yep. Let's see. Next, we have Urban Outfitters. Classic brand. They've been around for a while. They do have pretty affordable stuff. I mean, some stuff, I think, is pretty overpriced. Like, they do a lot of, like, vintage stuff. Mm -hmm. And I think they... Like, you could find, like, a cool band t-shirt at a thrift store that would look the exact same than the one that you get at Urban. I agree. (laughs) So that would be my pro tip is if you ever want a good, which I would definitely include that in my list of things you, everyone should have, is just a cute band Mm t-shirt. And that I would not go to Urban Outfitters for. Go to, like, a thrift store or, I don't know, sometimes they just have the nice knockoff ones. I've actually got one at Target recently, and it's pretty cool, and it's, like, my new favorite shirt. There you go. It's pretty legit. Or Target hat. <laughs> I know. God, sponsor me, Target. Where? <laughs> what are you doing? Anyway, you need me. No, you don't. But you need me. I'll be here every week. I know. My boyfriend thinks that I should be like. I should actually reach out to them and be like, I will be. <laughs> I will be your best a influencer. Influencer please. for you, and they'll be like, mm, okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. Top Shop, great one. You great, can find great, it great, in great, Nordstrom. Great. They have like more of like the the fashion like statement pieces. I think that you mm-hmm. want, but like more affordable. Yeah, like the price. I, I have a really cool leather jacket from Top Shop. I have some nice dresses. Their sizing though is a little weird. I would say it runs a little small. So like. Mm-hmm. I end up getting larges there a lot just because it's like I don't know it's weird sizing, but it's cute and it fits fine as long yeah. as you have your right size um lululemon lulu i think lulu's overrated personally and i think it's way overpriced i have been a loyal customer (laughs) to lululemon for many years i think they're great quality um i think if you want something that's gonna last you a super long time go with lulu it will hurt your bank at the initial point of purchase but now that's always been my opinion. <laughs> now we're moving to life hacks again. Dupes. Dupes. Amazon is full of dupes for Lululemon. Which a dupe I, is basically like it looks exactly like Lululemon yes. and same material, same look, same quality, but for way cheaper. And so yes. it's called a dupe is yep. what us internet folk are calling it. Um, I found some great dupes on Amazon yes. for Lululemon leggings. They're that is about what I've heard. They're dollars I have yet... I have yet to test that theory, but yes, I have heard my roommate just got a bunch and she is very happy with them (laughs) and thinks they are exactly like Lululemon. I found some other brands that are, I don't know. I just think they like Aloe Yoga is on our list and that one is not cheap, but I do think they have cute, like really cute kind of unique styles. Mm -hmm. So I like that. Viore is another brand that's kind of coming up. I used to live in LA and that was a big one in LA. But I have a feeling they're going to make their way to Colorado because it kind of like appeases both types of like cultures. They usually do. Like the Cali style and the aloe is actually, I think, don't quote me on this, but I mean, there was more of their, like they had the stores in California, mm-hmm. not in Colorado. And they're getting one yeah. in Colorado. I'm pretty excited about they that. Are. Where? I don't know where, but. Oh, that'll be dangerous. Weirdly enough, I don't know. I figured this out on a very strange, <laughs> in a weird way. They were like posting LinkedIn, like job postings for like sales associates. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, and it was in Denver. So I was like, yeah. okay, well, clearly they're getting a Denver store. Um, Love that. Maybe I should do that as like a part time gig. Get some free aloe <laughs> on stuff. On the side, get some free leggings. You know what's messed up though? It's I've heard that like if you work at Lulu or like one of those places, you only get a discount. They don't mm-hmm. get it. For free. for free when they have to wear it to work every yeah, day yeah and you have to wear it to work every day i'm like that is lame pretty lame well all right i think we we should just go through our just simple list of must-have staples and that is where we will leave you and then you just can do with that what you will take our advice don't take take our the advice. life hacks don't love yeah. it leave it live your life hate it 
rock what you want to rock. Don't let anyone stop you. And go off. Including me. yourself. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> and away we go. go. <laughs> you guys seen <laughs> Billy on the street? That's what he does. Yeah. Anyway. I haven't seen it. I love him. <laughs> Uh, music comedian. <laughs> there you go. Um, Anyways. So I would say top of my list would be a classic white sneaker. It matches with everything. It looks cute with everything. I think Versatile. Hailey Bieber, my good, good, good friend, <laughs> would would agree with me. My she has a pair idol. of white tennis shoes. <laughs> I could honestly be an in, I could be like a promoter for her. Like an influencer just gassing her up. Like Haley, I would if do you that. hear this. Haley, if you're out there and you're listening. <laughs> we will gas you up every you pay- episode <laughs> of Go Off Queens. <laughs> you married my childhood love of my you life. You did. And I'm but not even mad because you're you and you're beautiful and amazing. So anyway, you sorry. It. You deserve a little Haley Bieber spot there. Um, and then Back I to the think list. <laughs> next on the list, we would Plain both. Plain white tea. Yes. Have a good T-shirt in your arsenal. A That's little black dress, nice. an LBD. LBD. I I honestly don't. And for I'm, the men too. Everyone, I know you're watching Go Off Queens, and you need an <laughs> LBD. <laughs> little bat. <laughs> little black. I was trying to think of. I don't want to. Never mind. My mind's going to a weird place. Don't oh. don't get a little black dress, men. Um, I think you need a loungewear set. Personally. Yes, a sweatsuit set. Super cute. You could wear them separately together with your white sneaks you could even do you can pair it with jewelry anything jean jacket yeah anything that's simple yes jean matches with literally everything so you can you have you can have more fun when you're wearing like more neutral simple stuff because then you can like accessorize more with like a Mm -hmm. fun earring or like i don't know necklaces yeah no um let's see what else we got here i said it earlier but Oh yes, body suits, hundred percent. Go with every pair of they jeans. They make they're you very flattering too, like because it tucks in obviously <laughs> to like your jeans and just makes you look very thin, shaped, curvy, um, extra extra small. If you're an influencer, <laughs> extra extra small. <laughs> <sighs> Don't we all want to be an extra extra small? I haven't been an extra extra small since I was like ten. So mm, probably like eighth grade for me. Anyway, <laughs> maybe um, probably not actually. Yeah, I would go into Abercrombie and be uh, like, I'm a double zero. <laughs> Those were the days. <laughs> <laughs> and then my mom would be like, how's that even a size? <laughs> double zero. What is that? What She's is that? Like, I am, yeah. <laughs> um, I said it earlier, but a band t-shirt. I think yes. that's very trendy right now. And you can wear it with like anything. Like You can wear it with a skirt, jeans. Um, I've even seen someone like throw it over a dress. Um, you can wear it with literally anything. You could put like a long sleeve like this. I've worn this one under a band t-shirt and it was cute. I think the other one that's not clothing, but accessory. Everyone needs a good baseball hat. Yes. And a beanie. See, so those days you're just having I a bad hair day. You're like struggle you need to with toss hats. something on. I love them on other people, and I love the way they look. And I, I don't know. I can do a baseball hat. Baseball hat's pretty universal. Mm-hmm. If you look bad in a baseball hat, like. I don't have to tell you. That's rough. But <laughs> we're sorry for you. I think, okay, sidebar, <laughs> a baseball hat. If a guy wears a baseball hat, like, whew, it can make you attractive in a I hot second. Any hat on it's, a guy. If you can rock true. a hat and you're a male. Not a fedora. Turn it back, backwards hat, <laughs> without looking a little douchey. Like, mm. Oh, yeah, mm. the backwards hat. <laughs> a plus. Keyword that's, without looking douchey. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. That's like a frat bro. Yeah. No, mm. we don't like frat bros. Yeah. I mean, the beanie. I like a good beanie. Beanies are cute. Maybe just a simple color. I recently got some for Christmas, though, that are too short. And now I'm self-conscious about my head size. Yeah. Like, is my head too big? Got an egg head over here. <laughs> <laughs> no. Compared to mine right now, mine's bigger than yours. Is it? Yeah. Good. yeah. I don't know. I feel like I mine looks big because of my though. little clip thing back here, but anyway all right i think that's our full list and like we said try them don't try them <laughs> i don't hate you influencers that's my last word yeah. i don't hate you we respect you you're just trying We're to just make jealous. an honest living like the rest of us and i respect that <laughs> but do i care about we all the different vitamins you take that i don't take no, no. <laughs> not really to be honest, but I will, no. I'll take your advice as long as you're not an extra, extra small. And that is, that is my last word. 
So thank you, everyone. Has been a lovely episode <laughs> of Go Off Queens. Clearly went off on a lot of things. Don't hate me. Oh, I hope you weren't triggered. We'll see you next time. See you next week.